Mad Monkey from Digitech. It says tube overdrive, but there's no tube in there. Oh, there's a lot of chatter, a lot of talk about this bad boy right here. It's probably the best $25 on the used market, $25 pedal I've purchased. But it's not just a pedal. There's so much more and I'm going to explain why. And it's not really because I use it as a guitar player. It's who I am that this is such a good investment in what I do. And I know there's a bunch of you just like me and you want to learn more. Well, I record myself. I record bands and other musicians. And I also run sound. Um, although it's for small groups and bands and small places, small to medium places, um, nothing too major. Like I'm not on tour with Van Halen or anything. This pedal has proved itself. And I'm going to tell you why. First, let me tell you, this thing sounds pretty good. Phil Lex uses it. He's one of the many people that like it, but I don't care about that. Neither do you. Phil Lex is cool, don't get me wrong, I like the guy. Um, been following him since he's started doing guitar reviews. I think he's pretty cool. And he gets great sounds. That's not why I like this. It does sound pretty good. Um, you know, it's a different flavor if you play guitar, do a lot of recording. It's a different flavor of overdrive. Pretty good dirt box. But I don't care. I don't care at all. That's not why I like this. Here's one for the debate. This thing has a buffer built right in. If you have uh, signal loss due to really long cable runs, you know, going from maybe your guitar all the way back to the amp, maybe you have a ton of pedals maybe both um, maybe the buffer will help you I really don't care that's not why I love this pedal a lot of people will uh, tell you you know buffered pedals suck um, only get true bypass you'll you'll notice signal loss your amp has got treble and bass and mid-range dials on it you'll figure it out think for yourself but I don't care. That's not why I love this pedal. Let me tell you why this is like the best $25 I've spent. It's about who I am and maybe who you are. If you record bands, let, let's say you're recording a band, you're in someone's house, you've got mics everywhere, and you start with the drums, you know the band has to look at each other. They have to be able to see each other to know when changes are coming, to know when they messed up or whatever. But you can't have them all playing in the same room because a mic bleed. Well, the Digitech Bad Monkey has a regular output and it also has a mixer output. It's beautiful. You can take that mixer output, you know, tell the guitar player, no amp. We're gonna plug you into this pedal. We're gonna take that mixer out, plug it into a mixer, and we're gonna put headphones on everybody and control the headphone amp. You know, everyone has a has a, a copy of what's going on. For $25, you can make that a reality. How about if you're running sound and someone's amp blows up, or they, whatever, they don't bring an amp, or someone wants to, to perform, hey, come on up and play with us. Oh, I didn't bring my amp. Plug into this and I'll plug you right into the front of the house board. I'll bring you up, no one will be none the wiser, and it'll sound fantastic. I keep this in my bag of tricks at all times. $25 pedal on eBay. Check Reverb too. Those guys actually have a really cool thing going. The prices are less. You can make offers. You don't have to pay a full price. Um, and it's a pretty cool deal. $25. You can get much better recordings with less mic bleed. You can always have some kind of a guitar signal coming into a front of house or a mixer for recording. I'll tell you what, this thing has saved me a lot of headaches. It's, uh, I can't say it saved the day or anything. It's on some of my recordings. I mean, I like the way it sounds, but that's not why I love it. I love it because it has a mixer output. On my website, homerecordingweekly.com, I have high-res images of the settings, the dials, the inputs, the outputs, all that stuff. And I've got links just 
a lot of stuff over there to make this review a lot better because I know you can't see it very good through this camera. So please head to Home Recording Weekly, uh, type in Bad Monkey in the search tab and that this post will come up. Thanks for your time. And one last thing, if you want to make broadband absorption panels, if you are into mixing or recording, mastering, or if you want to make your own bass traps like I have here, I give away a free ebook. It'll uh, show you how I built these do-it-yourself style on the cheap. There's no fiberglass. It's all rock wool. Rock wool. Um, again, there's a ton of images and links that will help you make them. It's a free ebook. I give it away. Um, and you know what? You sh everyone should have at least one Digitech Bad Monkey. For the reason I told you, the mixer output alone, it's worth its price. Everything else is a bonus. Thanks for your time.